it's April Garwood from Banana Moon Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet the wattle stitch. This is a favorite stitch pattern of mine and it is one that I've used for several designs. Uh, this shawl that, I mean you can't really see it all spread out, but this shawl is called Ida Bell's Shawl and this is one of my um, crochet designs that is done in wattle stitch. And um, one of the things I like about it is the way it looks when you work stripes in it. Um, it winds up looking a little bit like a, uh, a small chevron as you kind of get this sawtooth edge when you work stripes in wattle stitch. So um, it has a, a pretty look to it. It's a fairly solid stitch, but it's a little more interesting than just, you know, your basic single crochet, double crochet, one of those. So anyhow, I wanted to show you what that looks like. And here I have written instructions for wattle stitch. So we're going to walk through this pattern. The yarn I'm using here is uh, the same bright blue that I used in this, which is Ancient Arts Yarn Nettle Soft DK. In color nothing but blue skies. So we're going to start by making our slip knot. So the way to determine the length of your starting chain when working in wattle stitch is that um, your starting chain equals one less than three times the number of pattern repeats. So as you look at uh, this shawl for instance, um, pattern repeats are here and here and here and here. So between my fingers I have four pattern repeats. So you'll want to determine how many pattern repeats you're going to do. For this demonstration I'm going to do five pattern repeats. So I will multiply that five by three and get 15, and then I want one less than that, so I need to chain 14. So now I have 14 chains. My row one says, in parentheses, single crochet, chain one, double crochet, and second chain from hook. So everything inside of these parentheses I'm going to do in the second chain from my hook. So my first chain is here, my second chain is here. So I will go into that second chain single crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Okay, and then I have skip two chains, single crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next chain. So I will skip two chains, that's one and two, and then in this chain, I will do that set of stitches in the parentheses, which is single crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And then it says repeat from star across. So I'll go back to here and skip two chains and single crochet, chain one, double crochet, and next chain. Okay, so one and two, and I'm going to continue that pattern all the way across my chain. I love this wooden hook, but this particular one is just a little bit snaggy, so forgive me if you see it snagging on things. That's the hook. It's kind of rough here. It's not the yarn. Okay, and then I'm going to skip two chains again. Skip two 
two chains and then in my last chain a little single crochet chain one and double crochet now I want to point out something when I work waddle stitch you can see it really well in this picture this is a picture of the shawl that I have here but I like this uh, scalloped edge that you can create there is a way to work waddle stitch where the edges can be smooth you have to add um, a few extra chains and work half double crochet stitches along the edges but I really like that sawtooth edge so I um, will show you how I make that kind of edge so my next row is going to start with a chain one I'm going to need to turn it. I will skip the first stitch, which is this double crochet stitch right here. And then I will single crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next chain space. So in this chain space right here, that's just kind of working in the hole under the chain. I will single, chain, and double crochet. So by working my row ends the way I have written here is how I get that kind of sawtooth edge. Um, like I said, if you would prefer straight edges, then you'll have to add a few chains to each side and uh, work half double crochets at the edges. But um, Okay, so I did my single crochet, chain one double crochet in the next chain space. Then I skipped two stitches and repeat from the star. So the two stitches I'm skipping are this single and this double. And then in the very next chain space, I'm going to do that set of stitches again. Single, chain one, and double crochet. And I will repeat from the star across, ending my last repeat at this double star. So I'm going to skip two stitches and in the next chain space, I will do my set of stitches again. Sorry, that's snaggy. It is the hook, I guarantee it, not the yarn. Okay, let's try that again. Single, chain, and even though it snags, I like this hook because it's comfortable to hold since it has this bigger, thicker handle. Okay, I'm going to skip the single and the double here and in the next chain space, I'll do my set of stitches again. Chain one and double. And then I will skip these two stitches and in the last chain space, I will single crochet chain one and double crochet. Now you can see why I have to um, end the last repeat at the double star because what I just did here was the single chain one double. I don't have two stitches left to skip and that's why we end the repeat here. Okay, so um, here I have skip final stitch and turn. So at this point, I'm just going to turn. And then it says repeat row two for pattern. So, so for the rest of the time that you're working a waddle stitch, you're just repeating this row. So again, we chain one and then skip the first stitch, single, chain one, double in the next chain space. So the double crochet that I did last, I'm gonna skip it and go right in this space under the chain and single crochet chain one, double crochet. Okay, and you've already seen how this goes. You skip the two stitches, you go in the next chain space. And like I said, the rest of the time you're working in waddle stitch, you're just repeating that row two. So it is an easy stitch, but like I said, it looks nice in stripes. It's a little bit more interesting than just doing straight single crochet or double crochet and uh, it like I said it 
can make that sawtooth edge that I like. So there are a lot of things I really enjoy about this stitch and the fact that um, I'm working at a kind of a loose gauge right now. If you wanted to make it even a little bit more solid and have fewer holes in it, you could go down um, a hook size or two and still have a nice fabric that would have smaller holes. So that is how you work the waddle stitch. Um, I will have a link in the description for my Ida Bell shawl so that you will have a project that you can use with this waddle stitch as well as I think I have a few other patterns in this stitch as well. And uh, as always, you can find my latest reviews, tutorials, free patterns, giveaways at bananamoonstudio.com. I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye.